supermarket, hospital, gym, main street for buses, all the buses you can see, but and pharmacy right over there. What's going on to all? Good afternoon. Leaving the gym and thought I'd do a little neighborhood walk down run through on what goes into picking a neighborhood when living in Sao Paulo, Brazil. So this one might be a little bit different compared to the last two I've done. So this neighborhood right here is Zona Leste. Um, not too far from the Cajon train station. These high rises over here. So one thing that goes into me picking neighborhoods now, I like to pick neighborhoods with a lot of high rises because number one, I like the views and two, you'll know it's, it'll be considered a busy area to where you'll have your markets, you'll have your pharmacies and things of that nature. So you see that this is all the buildings and I do recommend if you do come out, it's a little pastel shop right here. Pop-up pastel, I love pastels. But I do recommend um, if you do decide to, uh, you know, explore neighborhoods, take an Uber out there and pay attention when you're in the Uber. See, this is like fairly new. I think it went up last year. Nice apartment. Uh, they have very, very nice balconies. Gated security. Um, yeah, whenever you're traveling around looking for spots, I always pay attention. So I always pay attention when I'm outside the Uber. So what does the neighborhood look like? Does it look like a place I could walk in? What's around there? What are the people looking like? So I have a school right here, un colegio, if you will. Um, not too far from where I live. And like I said, over there is the train station. And to be honest, when I first got to Sao Paulo, I Ubered a lot, I still do, but it is convenient to have the Metro, the train as an option. It is convenient, it's way cheaper, you know, like less than a dollar going one way. Um, buildings, what can I say about the buildings? So my building has like a pool, a gym, a sauna, but it feels a little dated, right? So I do plan on moving. Um, I do like my apartments to feel like more modern. And the thing about this area, they're building a ton. You know, uh, lots of constructions going on. And as you can see, it's daytime out. What time is it? It's 11.54 a.m. Just left the gym and I'm walking and recording and nothing has happened. So, all the fear mongering has to stop. I, I treat living in Sao Paulo like I would treat living in Queens. You know, just aware. And, you know, with coming out of the military, I'm just always aware of my surroundings. It's a parking lot right here. And the cool thing about this neighborhood is there's a few universities. So, these buildings are fairly new. And then this building over here just went up construction like nobody's even living in them yet so that's uh a lot of building going on now in zona lesti lesti that's l-e-s-t-e tatuape but yeah i've been here close to a year um felt safe never had any issues like i said it's a nice busy area uh, about two or three colleges around here. Lots of gastro bars, police station right here. Um, let's get a look of all these buildings going up. So yeah, I do recommend like, you know, after you check out a building, um, walk around that neighborhood for a little. I remember I went to go look at one apartment in Braz and I walked around the neighborhood. The apartment was dope. Um, you know, had everything I needed in there. Nice view, balcony. Uh, most of these apartments come in like the indoor market. 
but the neighborhood, the neighborhood was just, eh, to me, you know, just uh, a little shady. Um, I do take into account when Brazilians tell me about neighborhoods. I take that into account highly. So Braz wasn't really recommended on the top of the list. This restaurant just went up, just opened up. There's a park right here they're fixing up. And another restaurant over there. So I know the universities are all down there. There's a university down there. And the thing I like about this neighborhood is the evening time when people are going and coming to class. It looks just like a Friday night. Everybody's hanging out, uh, drinking, you know, some drink spots over there, some bars over there. Uh, one of these days I'll go down there and I'll, I'll get a short to uh, do a video. But it's definitely fun living around a college, you know, that I would say it's, it's, uh, I would say it's very vibrant, the energy. So just a quick walkthrough around here. Um, some of these apartments do not come with elevators. So do keep that in mind, a lot of houses around I don't remember the last time I've seen somebody suck their thumb and walk in the streets. So that kind of drew me off. And yeah, people around here are fairly nice. You know, they'll hit you with the bom dia, bom tarde, bom noche. Complaints. One complaint I do have, and I lived in Moema. I thought it was bad in Moema, but people do not curb their dogs for shit. I don't know if it's a whole bunch of strays out here, but it can't just be strays. Cause I see more dogs on leashes than strays and it grinds my gears like I'm always having to look down when I'm walking around here because people don't curb their dogs there's another gastro bar right here pretty good good food good drinks some specials there's a ton of these around the area some would be cheaper than others you know to um, attract the attention of college students because you know not everybody's rich so some of these places I would go hang out at, you know, if you're looking to uh, budget, they have some good deals, you know, so just keep that in mind. That's why I like, uh, you have a lot of options in this area and a lot of apartments, a lot of tall, tall apartments. I like, I like the tall apartments. They give me a good view of the city, especially at nighttime. I like the big, big balconies. Like, you know, the ones um, big enough to like have like a whole dining room set on, a couch, whatever. So, over here, they're building some more. Doing some more construction. So, definitely a lot of buildings. Definitely a lot of buildings going up. And security in these buildings be like top notch. I mean, like facial scans with the security guard and fingerprinting. And that jazz so about to hit the main street it's just a hospital right here got another little spot right here college students little food spots is one thing about Brazilians Brazilians love their food like every 10 steps you'll find some place where you could get something to eat. And yeah, listen, look at this. 24 hour pharmacy, right with the gas station. Meat market right here on the main street. More apartments, stores, whatever you need. But I do recommend you go out to these neighborhoods only if you have a firm grasp on your Portuguese. Me, I'm comfortable enough to live away from all the English speakers and you know where other Americans would tend to be because I have a grasp on Portuguese. And what does that mean for me? Well, my rent will be cheaper. Um, entertainment will be cheaper. Food will be cheaper. All that stuff. So 
if you don't have the language that I'm pack, I would recommend you know going to those areas, but you'll be spending a lot more money. So that's one thing to keep in mind. If you guys have any questions, drop a comment. But this is my little walkthrough slash advice. But like you can see, no danger for me as a gringo. Walking through Sao Paulo, just left the gym. Walking and recording with my phone out. But like I said, you just gotta be aware of your surroundings, where you are, and not everybody could do this. So like the video, subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned for more things Brazil. Coming from an uh, American veteran that's been living out here.